So it is Sunday, December 26th, and um, on Christmas Eve, we suffered a miscarriage. Um, On Wednesday, uh, the Wednesday before Christmas, um, everything was fine. Um, and I noticed that when I went to the restroom later in the evening, um, I, I didn't have any kind of like cramping or anything, but when I went to the restroom, I um, had like a drop of blood, which is, I've been told is normal, is normal to have spotting um, in early pregnancy. And so I didn't think anything of it because I wasn't feeling anything else. Um, and it was just the one drop of blood. But I did kind of panic because I, that's not something that I, I experienced with um, with Frida. But I tried not to think too much about it because, like I said, it's supposed to be a normal thing. Um, so the rest of the night was uneventful. Um, but the next day, which was the day before Christmas Eve, which was Thursday, um, I woke up and I started having kind of like a little bit like cramping feeling, um, and not too, ex not too intense. It was just, um, like a flutter, which like I said with Frida, I never, I never experienced. And so it kind of made me nervous and being that I, I feel like I'm very in tune with my body, I was just kind of like trying to trying to figure out what was going on. Um, of course, try not to stress myself out because that could be bad for the baby as well. But um, I was kind of on, on um, not on edge, but I was, I had this awareness like, okay, something's, something's off, something's happening. Um, and then later around lunchtime, I um, started to get like back pain with the cramping. So I um, luckily I had my nieces here. So they um, it, it was time to put Frida down for a nap. And so I took her and I took that time to just kind of lay down. Maybe I just need a rest. You know, my body's going through all these changes. And so I put her down for a nap and she didn't want to nap. So um you know, luckily my nieces were here so they could, you know, keep her distracted so that I could rest a little bit. And I decided like to take a nap and, and just kind of take the load off a little bit. And so when I woke up, um, I, the cramping stopped. I was fine. Um, and that was um, Thursday, which was our fit dance night. Um, and I was fine. I didn't feel anything else. Um, and I didn't, I wasn't spotting. So I thought, you know, everything is fine now. Um, I just needed a rest, which I, you know, I have that awareness, you know, that it, that as my body's going through these changes, I need to allow my body to rest as well. So after my workout, I showered, everything was fine. I was making, um, I was making shakes and I started to kind of get that flutter back again, but it was just more of a of a sharp, um, like a sharp cramp. And so I go to the restroom again and I notice that I am spotting again. Um, and not heavy, it was just, you know, a drop of blood, but it made me nervous because I, with Frida, this wasn't the experience that I had. I never felt, I never got cramps, I never spotted. Um, and so, you know, I, pulled my husband aside and I said, Hey, you know, I'm feeling these things and, um, I'm spotting and I want to, I'm going to take it easy and just kind of let, let it take its course. And, and since I'm not feeling anything worse, it could just be normal. Maybe it's in my head, but I just felt really uneasy about it. And so he's just like, well, just, you know, take it easy. Don't think about it. You know, don't think about it, but but you're in tune with your body, so just pay attention to whatever else you notice is, is off. And so, um, I, regular, we went to bed, 
and um, Christmas Eve, um, I think it was around, it was in the morning that I started to get like super, super bad cramps, super bad cramps. And um, I, you know, I didn't want to think about it, but at the same time I told them, you know, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Um, my, my back hurts. My, you know, my pelvic area is throbbing um, and it just doesn't feel right. And so he was like, do you want to go to the doctor? What do you want to do? And, I, you know, I kind of wanted to just wait it out. I don't want to panic and stress myself out. I just want to wait it out. And so we went about our day. It's Christmas Eve. We had to go to two families, um, you know, um, get togethers. And so when I um, when we got to my parents' house, the the cramping got worse. Um, I was in a lot of pain, and it, it literally felt like um, contractions. I felt like contractions, and so I knew in that moment I knew um, what was happening. And at first, I you know I thought maybe you know maybe I I got a false positive. You know maybe. It's just my period because at first it felt like period cramps but then the cramps just got really intense to where I had to do like deep breathing to really get through it because it was it was intense and I remember going to the bathroom and I just started to see like blood and tissue and kind of like a period but I knew that it wasn't a period um, because the tissue was heavy and and so it began. And so at that point, you know, my husband was like, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to the hospital? Like, what What do you want to do? And I just knew, like, it's already happening. And there's not, there isn't anything that can be done at, at that point. It's just having to let your body do what it, what it knows to do. And so that was our... Our Christmas Eve into the evening um, I was in so much pain but I I hadn't told my family um, other than my sister so I didn't um, I kind of just wanted to let it happen you know and, and keep that between us I didn't want to take away what you know the moment in time that that um, they were experiencing and, and the joy that they were having with Frida and um, because there's nothing that could have been done at that point it was just what was happening and what had to happen and so into the evening um, and it's just so weird to I felt like I was having um, and still felt like I was having an out-of-body experience like going through that and not being able to you know, scream from the top of my lungs what was happening, like, I wanted to just, I wanted it to just be between me and my husband at that time, because I didn't want to put a damper on what we were celebrating in, in the moment with family, but it was excruciating pain, um, and into the evening, it didn't subside until um, the next morning, Christmas Day, it didn't the, the cramping and everything didn't subside I was still bleeding into Christmas Day um, and still now but um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day it was just um, Christmas Eve was really intense and then Christmas Day was intense but not as intense as the day before and um, I just like so many things going through my head but one of the things that I know for sure is that I um, going through this process um, because I'm still going through it and it's still I can still feel my body you know it's only day technically day three um, and still bleeding um, it's I feel like um, I know that I don't blame myself because there isn't anything that I could have done differently because I'm healthy. 
I take really good care of myself. Um, and this is just something that is so, it's so common, yet it's something that people don't talk about. Women have this, carry this um, shame when it com comes to miscarriages. And I just keep thinking like, not why me because like i said it's something that i know it's so common i know so many women who hide in their in their shame and they carry guilt for this thing that is out of their control it's out of our control it's just something that happens in life and i i know that it's going to take a lot of time to heal from this and and move forward but i know in my heart that i i'm grateful that i don't carry um blame or shame um in time in time i will share my story and i will um use it as a as a as a way to empower other women um sharing our stories and connecting and giving a voice to something that people just find so much of a taboo to even talk about because it goes with a lot of shame and guilt. It comes with all of that and it shouldn't because it's not something that we can control. It's something that happens, but it's a spontaneous thing in our body. And um, like I said, I take very good care of myself. So I know that there's not anything that else that I could have done but I find myself, um, and I know it'll be something that I have to go through and process, and, and the healing process will help with that. Is kind of like why, um, not why did this happen to me, but how can I move forward? Um, what is, uh, what do I need to? get from this experience because everything that we go through every hurdle and struggle that we go through in our lives is meant to teach us something and I know I'm already present to that I know that it's something that's just gonna continue to give me a new sense of life and awareness and purpose and intention and I just have to allow myself and give myself that grace to go through the healing process, heal my body, heal my body back. Um, because I know that when the time is right, it will be our moment to have another baby. But right now it is just the time to heal and go through every emotion. Um, just like with any type of grief, we go through every emotion and, um, I am, in a sense, looking forward to the healing process with my husband um, and to see how we grow from all of this and what our, what our experience will be growing and healing through this journey that is now a new type of um, postpartum. So I don't know, I don't know when and if I will share this video, but I hope that when I find my newfound strength um, that I can stand tall and proud and, and be a voice for other women who have experienced this but maybe felt too much shame or guilt to share their story and to honor their story and I feel like through this process I will be able to honor my baby in a way because he or she has given me a new strength, a new um, awareness in life and just how beautiful life is, how beautiful life is and how our experiences are truly what build us and give us that inner strength to go on, to move forward. And to continue to love and live and, and be excited about living our life, even through the, the difficult times. So, when, when I am ready, I know that, that 
I will be able to connect with other women who have experienced this and um, hopefully they find a little bit of, of comfort knowing that they're not alone because I know, like I said, I know so many women who have experienced this and I know they're only a phone call away if I really am ready, when I'm ready to to share that. Um, I know that they will be here to support me and I feel like through my own experience, I will be able to build my strength up to someday support someone else as they're going through this so 